I'm going to talk about my trip to Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan. I was there for two weeks and I was traveling all over the country in search for eagle hunters for a feature documentary that's out next year. We were traveling to a new location pretty much every day, so this meant we had to go by train, by car, any way possible to get to all these different spots. It also meant that we were getting up in the morning at about 5, 5.30 every day and then not getting to bed until about midnight. So it was long days, but I absolutely loved it. In this video, I'm gonna talk about a few of the highlights. The first being the sleeper train. So this was the first time I'd ever been on a sleeper train, which is basically a train that you take overnight and you can sleep on it. It's got, you've got your own bed, the tiny. And I had about five or six bags of equipment, camera gear, all this bits and bobs. And so we had to try and find all these spots to put it in. But the reason why it was so special is because we bumped into some singers um, who'd been performing a concert in Almaty, which is the capital of Kazakhstan. They started singing for us. They offered us tea, they offered us drinks. And it was incredible. There was all these people from different ages. There was one boy who was about six or seven. He had like the coolest dance moves and was really into it and singing and then there were some girls who were a bit older and who were all dancing and singing and it was just a really really lovely moment and one of those moments that I'll remember for a very long time. At this point I should explain a little bit about what eagle hunters are. The nomadic people who basically use eagles to hunt for food, this can be rabbits, this can be foxes, and on occasion even wolves, which is insane. It was incredible to meet them because this was an ancient tradition that had been going for thousands of years, and to get a taste of it and see what it's all about it was really exciting. So another of my highlights was when I got the opportunity to film these amazing eagle hunters behind a 4x4. Uh, we're doing a shot at the moment where we're at the back of the car. We've got the horses racing along here, uh, the eagle hunters. So there's four of them, We've got beautiful mountains. I'm um, hanging on the back of the car, the glide cam, and we're gonna get a shot following them back as they come towards the camera. And uh, yeah, it's gonna look amazing. I'm really excited. <laughs> I also, of course, took my drone out there. So I was flying it up in these huge valleys and mountains and locations that uh, I don't think have ever had a drone or maybe even aerial footage uh, taken of it. So it was, it was very exciting to capture shots that have never been seen before. Doing one more drone flight, we're up at sunrise, saw the sun rising above, and looked absolutely amazing. There's one instance where we were flying the drone and we're going up this beautiful valley and then all of a sudden the GPS went all funky and it just started falling out of the sky and uh, I didn't actually see where it had landed so I wasn't sure if it had gone in the water, if it had gone in the tree or I had no idea and I was freaking out and uh, we had a few of us with us then, there was the a few of the eagle hunters and also one of his sons and so we all went searching and looking for this thing and about an hour later we managed to find it um, and it smashed onto one of the rocks and all the propellers and parts of the, the gimbal had fallen off and it wasn't pretty but thankfully one of the eagle hunters was an engineer so he managed to fix it which is incredible. What was amazing about this trip was that we had the opportunity to travel to these remote locations that very few people have seen. And the people there were absolutely amazing. Wherever we went, we were welcomed into their homes and they gave us tea and food and we drank a lot of tea. <laughs> they love giving tea over there and everybody drinks it. I hope you enjoyed learning a bit more about my trip to Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan. It's an amazing country and if you ever have the opportunity to go and visit, I highly recommend it. 
Until next time, see you soon.